Okay, good morning, everybody. Uh, time is 11 o'clock, and we will start up this uh, broadcast meeting of the second quarter report of Saltex Technology AB. Very welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is Carl Johan Linnea. I'm the new CEO since uh, middle of May this year. So this is my first quarter report. Uh, with my left hand side, I have Harald Bauer here, uh, which is CFO. And on the right my hand, I have Erik Jakobsson, marketing responsible manager within our company. Let me take the opportunity to start off a little bit with uh, a short introduction of myself. I have been in the industry in Sweden and uh, outside dealing a lot with export business also for quite some time, uh, more than 25 years. I've been within ABB, I've been with some other companies. Uh, I also have done my own starting up companies. Uh, and uh, when this opportunity came along with uh, Soltex technology, I was very pleased and honored to, uh, to get the opportunity because there is a really, really big uh, potential here of uh, doing something, not only business-wise, but also in, in an environmental perspective, uh, which, is, uh, which is very good, I think. So it's very, very exciting to, to do this uh, exercise here. We will uh, now uh, go through some pictures and um, I will make the presentation together with uh, Harald in one way. Uh, he, Harald will come in and mention some financial figures. We will save the questions uh, afterwards. You will come in with the questions in a, in a writing form. And um, we take it from there. Yes, next page. Uh, this is Soltex technology. We are, uh, the core technology is that we go with nano-coated salt and uh, we have done this for quite some time now. We have more than 60 patents pending around the world and we have now taken a decision also that we should focus on the large-scale energy storage. Uh, we, during the history time, we have been in various fields. I will come back to that later on, but now we have a full, full focus on the energy storage application. Uh, because of the focusing of, of that one, we have also reduced uh, the number of uh, people uh, working in this company. So at the moment, we are slightly below 20, 20 senior staff people in our organization. Uh, and this is, this is a um, 16,000 shareholder uh, company also. When you talk about Soltex, uh, I forgot to mention that uh, when, I, when I started this <clears throat> uh, challenge here, I didn't know very much about Soltex, but once you started to, to listen around and talk to other people in the network, Soltex was just very, very famous and, and, and has, a, has a good reputation on the market, which was very pleased to, to know, and, and this journey continue on, on that way. So we are in the right field. We have a good reputation. Now we, all, now we only have to industrialize uh, the, the company here. And that we will come to now later on here. Next page will be that the need for peak shifting, the more, the more renewable we will have on the market, the bigger need we will have for, for energy storage. Uh, the picture tells you that there are during certain time during the day, there are cheap, cheap peak energy, and during some other time during the day, there are more expensive peak energy. There is no rocket science in this, but we have to utilize this, and, and the need for storages is becoming more and more obvious in this case. This page. This picture shows you that um, uh, we are not certainly on the right area, uh, in the right arena to play. Uh, the source is Bloomberg here, and, and this, this shows you the potential need for storages in the future. Uh, this excludes pumped hydro storage, 
and it's exclude the, the, the batteries to lithium ion battery in the, in the car industry. But even if you think, if, even, I mean, you can see that we, the, the graph actually starts in 2018 and, and goes on to 2020 and so on. Even if you take a few years, five, six years in, in, in the future, you see that there, there will be quite rapid growth, but then it will just explode in, in the com coming years. And during this development, there will be, of course, there will be a lot of a, a lot of various technical solutions. That's for sure. Uh, and we intend to be one player. We intend to take a market share, of course, with this in, with this, in this area. And um, it looks this is very encouraging. It looks promising, I think. And and. Um, the future belongs to us. Large scale thermal storages, storing steam. We are loading the, the, the storages with energy and we are very flexible here. It could, be, it could be electricity, it could be renewable electricity, it could be heat, uh, whatever. And then we're charging the energy store and then we, we take out steam. And also on this side, we are flexible. It could be the combined, off takers could be combi combined uh, heating power, could be the industry, could be other, other, uh, other uh, off takers also. This actually shows you the, the, the installation we have done in, uh, in Berlin together with Vattenfall, uh, where, where we have renewable. Uh, electricity charging and we have steam as an outcome. <clears throat> Why are we then using salt? Uh, the salt itself that we that we Nord Kalk is supplying to us is the base of this and then we are um, then we are um, uh, increasing the value so to say uh, with, with a nano coating. Which, which, which together with Vacke as a supplier you do that. So this this become then the nano coat of salt. And this is a, it's, it's a natural uh, source of salt and, and it's a long, long lifetime and it's robust and also it's a very, very low cost when it comes to this one here. Um, it's also the the, the, the density, energy density is very good. And the good thing with this one is, is it's uh, repeatable. You can, you can go back, you can charge it, you can discharge it and over and over again. The journey that we have done in uh, energy store, we can, we can uh, look on this page here as we have. This is the journey of any store. This is not the journey of uh, Saltex. It started actually 2012 and 2013 together with General Electric and small prototype. But the really, you can say that the really takeoff was actually 2017 where we actually started to talk to a, a, a French supplier regarding the a container, a demo container that we actually had here in Stockholm for a, for a while. Uh, it was actually taken away a few weeks ago here from, from this place here. But after that, we did some tests in a smaller scale and, and we, we managed to, uh, to create a great interest by Vattenfall uh, that also uh, said that you are more than welcome to install a pilot installation in Berlin. And uh, so we did, and, and it, it was installed during quite some intensive work together with some uh, uh, key component suppliers, uh, OEM suppliers uh, in Berlin. And we actually had an opening ceremony in Berlin uh, in April, just before I started it in 2000, this year, 2019. So it's been a pretty short time where after the demo container and the decision that we should do this installation. And since that, since April, uh, the, the installation had been, been running uh, it's been running the whole summer also uh, during the vacation time and all those things. And we have done some, some charging and discharging and, 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 and uh, it, looks, it looks promising. 
and and uh, the result we will come out with in in uh, next quarter Q3. And for sure, we have learned a lot during this uh, uh, running. Uh, it's it's a, it's a optimization of uh, how to use the salt, what temperature should we use, uh, and, and and other things. So it's a combination of the process of salt together with the mechanical issues. Salt X. Economic ecosystem. This is a picture showing that where we are in, in this system. We have the salt producers uh, to the left hand side, uh, Nordkalk and Vacke. They are, of course, very, very important supplier for us to industrialize this concept. And, and once we are talking to our customers, we bring back some changes, maybe sometime to, to the suppliers also. On the, on the Upper side, we have the original equipment manufacturers. They are companies like uh, supplying key components. And sometimes they are the same as the EPC to the right hand side, equipment, procurement, construction, but not necessarily, it could be another company also. The EPC actually builds, build, constructs, and build, install the energy storage plant. And they are, of course, extremely important. And the interaction between all of us is very important here that we learn from, from each other. And below, you will see, you find what we call the off-takers. That is the end customer, the customers to the EPCs very often. Uh, this could be energy companies, could be industry with combined heating power industry, could be municipalities could be other also uh, off takers. But the important thing here is to understand is that really we are dealing with everybody. Uh, it varies, of course, from time to time, how much discussions we have, but we, we, li we like to see ourselves at least as a, as a center here uh, of bringing this technology out on the market. I'm very pleased to announce also that you probably have seen in the press releases that we have done that we have signed two strong partnerships agreement. We have signed a joint development agreement with a company called Inerco. Inerco is a head office in, based in, in Spain, but they have a very strong position in the south of Europe, you can say, and also in Latin America, South America. Uh, as a supplier of uh, these type of equipment. And we have this agreement, uh, which means that we will together look, look for, uh, for off-takers in this region, and we will, they will take the responsibility of uh, financing it. We will support them. We will not take the finance cost. Uh, we will supply the technology, and we will get paid from them also by various issues, license agreement, payment for the salt, etc. The other partner is uh, Steinmüller in, uh, in Germany. Same agreement, same challenges, same opportunities as in Arco. We will together look for an off-taker and we will find the best solution together with them. And this is a learning process journey that we will have with those partners and we we uh, you can see it also in another way in this picture where, where we have as i said nordkalk vakkes as a supplier we are the we have the uh, ip rights saltex technology nano coat of salt and we have steinmüller as oem as well as epc in this case and we're looking for the off taker and the same thing for, for Spain and South America with uh, Inerco. And here we are, of course, we are looking for new partners. We're looking for new, ge ge from a geographical point of view, but also from a sometimes technical uh, perspective in other energy storage solution. We will not look for something new here. We look for, still, we are focusing on energy storages, of course. And the good thing is that the more the more partners we will get, the more 
knowledge we will also get and that, that means that we could utilize this knowledge to support the new uh, partners that we will that we'll have in the future also are we doing time wise here okay, okay. Uh, coming into the financial comments um, I would like to introduce Harald here to comments about this uh, uh, figures here but before you do that, I will just to underline uh, a thing. It was a press release late yesterday. I don't know if you have seen that one, but it was a press release that we have um, uh, written down the capitalized asset for the development of other application outside energy storages. For me, this was very natural uh, and we don't, we don't have the capacity we don't have the the resources to actually to to run four different business areas within this small company uh, and uh, the decision has been taken by the board and, and by the management team in Soltex that we now should only go for energy storages only in a very positive remark because as you have seen the, the market is huge out there uh, and we will have more than enough on on, on the plate to do with, with this opportunity here. Uh, with that, Harald, I will let you talk. <coughs> Thank you. Good morning. Uh, I will comment, uh, make some comment on the financials. First, on the net sales, we can see that in the quarter we had almost a million in sales, and that primarily comes uh, uh, from our American partners, and that they contribute to the development, development that we do together in uh, one of these areas that we have now uh, stopped the Saltex to work in. But anyhow, it was good that we were able to invoice that and a little bit of other invoices too. Though we see on the accumulated for the six months period, the net sales are curiously still negative. And that is related to the fact that we in the first quarter had to reverse revenue that we had recorded in previous years that uh, never came to conclusion. And effectively, as we then continue to grow net sales, that will <clears throat> then turn to a positive number. The operating profit, of course, is completely dominated by the write down uh, that Kaliwan talked about for 32 million. And uh, I just like to comment that it is, uh, uh, of course, other than because of the strategic reasons, it has primarily, it is of, of an, an accounting nature and uh, it is then recorded as an asset is written off, but it does not have any effect on, on cash flow. And that we can see further down in the table that, that uh, the cash flow is not affected at all in the same degree as the operating result. On uh, uh, excluding the effect from the depreciation, we can see that the operating result is obviously still negative with such uh, low revenue and thereby uh, limited margin contribution. We cannot carry our own costs, so therefore the, the results in a loss. And though the, the, our costs, expenses for primarily employees and for the few consultants and their, our activities, that has come down. And uh, particularly compared to the equivalent quarter of last year, but also on a moving rolling basis, we can see that our expense spending burn rate is coming down. And as we announced earlier in the quarter, we have done additional reductions in the period and that has uh, had an impact on our, on our uh, burn rate, bringing it down. And we do not see that uh, only in, in Q2, it will become lower as we come into Q3 and Q4, as people are leaving in their severance pays are being paid out so forth. Eventually, of course, the idea is not that this line should asymptotically reach zero, then we won't have a company, but uh, uh, we hope soon that we will be able to uh, re-employ or employ uh, individuals as our business continue to expand and grow again. Uh, <clears throat> our burn rate, as you can see on the cash flow, uh, 11 a million uh, for three months is equivalent of four million and uh, uh, the reductions have led to the fact that these will this will come down uh, further 
that's about what I plan to comment on the financials. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thank you, Harald. <coughs> and the last page then, before uh, we go into questions and answers, is just to summarize the significant events during second quarter. On the picture you can see Harald, uh, together with Marcus Witt, Vattenfall, business area responsible for heat application, in heat business area in Vattenfall. Cutting, uh, opening up the, the plant in Berlin. Uh, you can see the salt sign behind them over there. But the most, uh, this was very, very important event, of course, to open up this pilot plant in Berlin. Uh, and the opening ceremony was not only one of one day, it actually was, took place during, <laughs> during a whole week with a lot of interest uh, from the customers and suppliers, they were there and there were a lot of uh, demonstrations and, and discussions about that. But the value, the value of this installation has been very, very good. From an external point of view, it's been great that we have really could have had this uh, uh, installation to show various people of interest. It's been people there visiting us from all over the world and, and uh, it's been really a, a door opener to, to further discussions. But also a little bit more internally, of course, we have learned a lot from the processes, uh, technical things, how, how the process would be, could interact with the mechanical uh, challenges in, in this machine. So uh, it's been a great, and the plan is that we will now continue to run this plant as, uh, as, as long as possible to get more, more reliable statistics of, of, uh, of technical facts uh, of, of charging and discharging thing. And uh, we will come up, as I said earlier, I think we will come up with the results of, of this uh, uh, installation, pilot installation in, in Q3. Also, the significant events was that we signed this agreement with joint uh, with uh, Steinmüller and Inerco. Uh, Stein, Steinmüller actually happened within Q2, but so, uh, Inerco came just after the Q2, Q2 closing in, 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 in July. And as we also mentioned that we have now cleaned the table, uh, we have written off those remaining 33.2 million Swedish kroner uh, in, in development expansion with the progress that we will not any longer focus on. I think that will uh, summarize the presentation. Uh, I hope that you have got some, uh, some uh, valuable information from us and we have tried to tell you as much as possible. And uh, I'm sure there will be a lot of questions. Uh, what we have seen so far, there are no que no questions at all. We were that crystal clear, clear Harald. Yes, yes. <laughs> so it's good. It's it, there are fewer on this call than on the Swedish yeah, one, so that's it's normal that there are yeah. not as many questions. We've experienced that from the past too. Are there any questions from the Swedish presentation that you want to? I don't remember that. We, uh, uh, I do. Uh, no, no, no. Here, here comes one. I'm uh, wondering about project sales for 2019-2020. Uh, as we have said, the, 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 the sales activities continues with to find new partners. And uh, the, the partners that we have, we will, of course, uh, capitalize as, as quick as we can. But we have all the respects for the timing here. Uh, I don't think there will be any any sales during 2019. Uh, we will see about 2020. We we will depends on depends on the on the partnerships uh, process here. We will we will start that journey now in in detail technical de discussions in detail now after this agreement signing. So that's what we can say so far. <coughs> Mm. Should we? Yes, we do. We close are, it. Yes, yes. Then. Thanks for the interest. And thank you for your interest and listening to us. And uh, wish you all a nice weekend coming up. Thank you very much. Bye bye.